Hi Greedy 3 ds Now, have you ever had this happen to one of your models? Today what I'm going to do is talk through why this happens and we're going to look at what we can do to prevent this. We don't want your hard worked on and lovely painted models a week, a month, two months later breaking apart like this. I've had two models go like this and what you tend to find is there's a pool of resin around it and that leads us to what the problem is. Now, if we go to when we first create our model in here, I'm just making the Sanix Wonder Woman bust. If you're using a hollow model, if you're using solid, it's not really important but on a hollow model you need to make sure you put drainage holes in that is imperative now when you put the holes in using two box make them 6.5 millimeters at least and I'll tell you why we're doing that at the end and I'll show you a little trick about what we can do to prevent the splitting but make sure you put those holes in now I've done that on this model here and let's just take it off the build plate now I've built this one on my Elegoo Saturn just using water washable resin which I know some people think can cause splitting but believe me all resin can split and as you can see this is printed just fine on the satin using the water washable and those holes in there allow it to have allowed some of the resin that's inside to drain out but it's still gonna have resin in there and that's important to remember now I'm using the big tree tech flex plate which you can see that I have reviewed here and it's a great bit of kit for getting your model off and I'm going to take all the supports off it making sure that I get them all off the model as uh, as best I can I love the sound of that and this is the second important stage washing your model you've got to remember that you can wash the outside really really easy but on the inside there will still be wet resin in there and it is this uncured damp wet resin that can cause your prints to split. Now I found that when mine have done it it's been on really hot sunny days so the resin inside has a thermal life and it will get hot in the heat and it will expand and it will split your model so make sure you are giving it a clean and I'm using water washable here so I'm just using some really clean water and I'm going to thoroughly thoroughly swill the inside out I'm filling it up I'm shaking it I'm tipping it out I'm filling it up shaking it tipping it out over and over again I'm giving it a really really good clean now if it was normal resin you'd be using your IPA but of course this is water washable so once you're happy that you give it a good clean I then move on to a bucket of just some soapy water a little bit of uh, washing up liquid in there and it's nice and warm and I do exactly the same again I'm swilling it all off this does two things one the outside won't have that chalky coating that you see on there sometimes when you come to cure it but more importantly you're going to get all or most of the resin out of the inside now you've got to remember it's still not cured inside and we will come back to that but you will um, agree with me that we've given this a really really good clean so it's had two washes both in clean water now uh, i'm going to dry it off just using some kitchen towel and the heat from the hot water just let the water dissipate so i'm going to dry it off with a kitchen towel and then i just leave it to stand for about 20 minutes half an hour just to dry a little bit more uh, if I've got a nice sunny day I will actually put it outside in the sunny day as well to uh, to let it dry off and now I'm going to move on to the curing process now I'm going to use my curing station here you will use whichever method you use to cure but in my case as you can see here I'm going to use the mercury plus which is a great bit of kit for uh, for curing and I'm going to leave it in there now the ultraviolet lights are doing a great job on the outside only they're doing nothing at all the inside and that's where the problem lies so what I've created here uh, is some little LED lights I've used a little connector for a 9 volt battery connected it together and I'm in a sense what I'm doing is making a curing station for the inside so I'll connect it up put it inside and I'm going to leave it in situ for around about four to five minutes before I take it out, reposition and put it again. Now, if you've got a tall model, you're going to need to feed it in all the way up. Just keep moving it around, but make sure the inside of this is cured. Now, um, I also have got one of these little torches that I can use to just get into places maybe that I can't get into with a little LED. Um, so it's always worth just having one of these on standby. Uh, here I'm doing my Thing model, which is a Sanix Thing, and I'm going to use exactly the same process pop it inside and just leave it now the thing to remember as well is when you're hollering out your models you don't want it too thin now there's lots of videos on the on YouTube to say how thick or thin you want them so I'm not going to talk about that now it's probably worth doing a little bit of research but make sure that when you do holler it out you don't holler it too thin because that can help it break as well here I'm doing a nice long thin model and I'm going to do exactly the same again feed that light in leave it in there for around about four minutes swap it into the next 
next leg and put it in there. And I have now, I'm confident now that the inside of my model is cured, it's clean, and when the sunshine shines upon my models, hopefully they won't split, and hopefully none of yours will suffer the same fate. If you want to buy any of the products that you can see here, there is a link in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, so you can buy everything that you see on here to use on your own. Just follow the links in the description and a little bit will come back to the channel, but it won't cost you any more. Now, don't forget, if you like what you see today and you like some of my other videos and I'm going to be putting them on there regularly, uh, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Every subscription really, really helps. Thanks again for watching and see you next time on Greedy3D. Thank you.